That's not actually me singing, I know you were wondering. I could if I wanted to, I just, uh, it's not the time or place. The time and place is, however, back here, because, um, it was nagging me about how we hadn't really found Nocron proper, and yet we had moved forward and found Noxtella and whatever the fucked up one was called. Um, Nocarina. Uh, anyway, point is, we came here and Vinny P was regaling us with lore details and he also said that um, we were merely on the outskirts here. So I pushed forward in uh, the direction of those trees and everything, hoping to find Nocron proper, but we instead found the sewers and all that followed, the, all the Scarlet Horribleness. Somehow, we missed the opening to Nocron, which is here. The whole time. <laughs> it was here. And I'm pretty certain, pretty certain I came around here. We definitely went over there and looked at those trees. We definitely lit that. And we... I can only assume I was distracted by the fox and all the uh, tribal people. Maybe her singing. Don't know. Just completely blindsided. Completely oblivious to this. To be fair, it's not a traditional opening to a city, but um, nonetheless, we are here now. And all that there is of Nocron might, in fact, just be this sort of main high street that we saw when we first came in, but uh, nonetheless, something to explore. But just before we do that, I realised I didn't read this last time after we beat the uh, horrific space pincer. A malformed star born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed, once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky. A falling star of ill omen. Wait, no. Now I feel like I did read it. Oh, fuck. My memory. Anyway, point is, that thing we killed last time is responsible for destroying one... Uh, for destroying Nock Arena. Also now, every time you think about a falling star, you can think about that fucking monstrosity landing somewhere. And eating people. Now, I don't know where I'm going from this point forward. I'm hoping there will be an easy route down here, but who can say? Thankfully, there's no ceiling for another dragon soldier to drop down from, like, the uh, Noxtella jump scare. Apparently, many people died at this jump, which seems odd. Here. Why here? Because of that. So there's a gap there. Knight's Sacred Ground. There must be a gap there because that bloodstain showed someone dying. Hmm. Puzzling. So that is probably the way forward and this is probably not. Yes, that would uh, rather give that effect. All right. It's not as difficult as I made it seem, you know, made it out to be, but. I have fucked up simpler things. What are the rejuvenating boluses for? We've got so many boluses. Alleviates death blight buildup. Alright. So. The shit that the basilisks spew. There isn't a gap here. So how did that other guy die? Did he just overshoot the jump, I suppose? Mastodon. Mastodon. What's that? What the fuck? 
Oh. Hello. Is it the naked or semi-naked lady shooting crossbow bolts at me? I've had worse evenings. Uh, I'll come to you then, I suppose. You're close on mine. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's why there's so many bloodstains around. Thought you were above it, didn't you? You were until you were below it. Oh well. I'm sure that'll be the only death of this stream. I was watching the last one back and it was like... So many deaths. I mean, we were fighting bosses and near bosses and stuff, but even so... I feel like I cocked up rather uh, innumerably on the last one. I say innumerably. Um, you could probably count the amount I died, but please don't. Also, incidentally, um, that last stream has got like close to a hundred views, which is uh, great. I'm, I thought it went okay. Um, I'm sure it's nothing really I did. It just must have hit the algorithm right or something, but uh, appreciated all the same. Anyone who did watch it, even if only for a few seconds. Jesus Christ. Is crossbow lady that formidable or is this jump that finicky? Or both. Oh, you could easily overshoot it, I realise now. It does make it difficult to worry about jumping. And I suppose if she shoots you in the middle of it, that's going to fuck things up too. You're another tier, eh? Oh, there's several of you. Could prove troublesome. I don't imagine that. Okay, bye. I don't imagine the silver mist does all that much to them. No, you're going to have to come to me now, aren't you? I suppose you don't have to. You could probably just stay there and do that forever. Oh, it does hurt them. It seems to hurt them as well as anything does, actually. I think being made of silver would uh, give you some immunity, but... Nope. Bye. Oh, lovely. Praise the light. What? The inexplicable light. That is for some reason there. Never a straightforward way into any of these cities, is there? Help me? Why? And then a hop, skip and a jump. Oh, over there, that's... I wasn't sure we would be going into any of the buildings, but apparently so. Are the butterflies the precious item? I don't... They do say they're rare, but I mean, it's not... Not all that fast. Okay, that's that then. Although apparently there's that as well. Hmm. Hmm. Turn back, cliff ahead. Some smart asses managed to put a message there, though. We shall not be being a smart ass. 
That first failed jump has now put the paranoia in me. Ah, many blobs. The city of blobs. What's all this then? What's all this about? I can hear something shimmery. I mean, I was going to say, is it a kind of church? But then everything here looks like a kind of church. Just a way of the architecture, isn't it? Really? Oh no, more of the sentient Indiana Jones balls. It's a city inhabited by blobs and balls. Oh yeah. Can't imagine what more there is, more of these wet blades there are to uh, get, so to speak. What does this one do for us then? Using physical or occult type ashes. Uh, or an additional affinity of poison, blood, or occult can be chosen. Oh, neat. I feel like I already had poison. Now, see, that's the difference. You you can get ashes of war that grant you an affinity. This is a way of simply um, putting the affinity on anything, and then uh, regardless of whatever ash of war it has. So that's the difference. Not sure how occult damage works in this one. Oh. Duh, just health, I guess. And then there's a something. Try running. Don't think that's the solution. But there is a ladder. So we can get back up. Leo? Ah yes, I remember now. You can poison the giant Indiana Jones balls. Oh no, that was possibly people once. Oh no, oh you've really ruined that now. Hope you're going to pay for that, because I'm not. Bloody hell. That's like the closest these people probably got to gravestones. Oh shit, I'm rather in my own thing here. Okay, that's brilliant. Much prefer the ball taking out you. Fear. Yes, fear. Always fear the giant balls. Luckily, you can, couldn't get too much of a run up here. But, uh, they have proved formidable in the past. Yeah, so this is very churchy. Were they worshipping the balls? I keep asking my significant other to do that and she won't, but... Oh, hello. Ah, you can't use that on me. That's my thing. Or... Actually, that didn't seem to do anything, so maybe that wasn't what she was using. Why aren't you in the pews? Do that again. I can keep doing this all day. <laughs> Fairly straightforward. Didn't expect grace. I did. Well, I hoped. Somewhere along the line. Okay, and then we're in the blobby city. Presumably there was once a road or a path that could have led us there. 
far easier. But we need to see what's behind the stone imp door before going too much further. I don't imagine we're going to get any answers here. Probably just more questions. Precious item ahead. You're not going to be friendly, are you? Oh yeah. No, didn't think so. The uh, the pot wasn't the pot was collateral damage. I mean, I intended to hit the pot, it was offending me. Which of those is least less embarrassing? Being able to properly say less embarrassing is probably less embarrassing. All right, mimic tear ashes. Now I can too can have you fuck, fuck that up, didn't you? You too can have your own blobby. Used to summon the spirit of a blobby. Summoning consumes HP rather than FP, cause fuck you. This spirit takes the form of the summoner to fight alongside them. But its mimicry does not extend to imitating the summoner's will. Mimic tears are the result of an attempt by the Eternal City to forge a lord. Hmm. So you can have your Dapplegonger alongside you. Cool. So is that why there are so many blobbies around? They were trying to create the Elden Lord or something. Or just a Lord. It's it's still not clear to me how Lord is used in this because in the older games Lord and and kind of God were used somewhat interchangeably. Here we've got demigods and things. Are all lords demigods? Who knows? Are all these blobs failed lords or are they just recreational blobs oh are all these blobs people <laughs> apparently some of them are some of them aren't you fuck I knew you were going to do that the moment you did it because I'm perceptive like that ah come on you can't interrupt me it's just rude Right, okay. Some of these are going to be people then. Oh good, more of those. Still, I'm picking up enough of them that they can't just do what I think they do. I didn't intend a sort of pun there, but you can make one if you like. Who knows what the Celestial do? Or with you, depending on how pedantic you want to be. Very in my case. I don't think I want to be very pedantic, I just... It's uncontrollable at this point. Cotton, here of all places. How tame. Whoa! Okay. What 
Fuck me. Right, that took me by shot. Why aren't you silver? Why have you just become a normal looking one of these? Well, you definitely weren't a lord, were you? No! Ah, fuck. God, it's been so long since I fought you, I've forgotten how I do it. Usually from a distance, I think. Yes, that might be smart. Hmm. Tougher than usual, certainly. Made of stronger stuff. they all didn't end up like that else we could have been here a while more flutter, flutter butterflies and more nothing Well, at least we got to see the main high street. Now, what if anything is going to happen up here? You seem as dead as the last one. If they were ever actually alive. Oh, good. <laughs> Where's that going to take us? If I had to guess, I'd say the fucking capital. <laughs> going by past experience whole lot of nothing hidden behind here can you hide nothing hmm depends who you ask I suppose the Gestapo would say no to hide except a big old box treasure chest well well observed they too have excellent powers of perception finger slayer blade and a massive wart yes it's going to be with the great shields isn't it right I don't know why I thought that was quicker Now I'm blind again, aren't I? Finger Slayer Blader. Am I blind? Finger Slayer Blade. Well, it ain't amongst the blades. So, I guess it can't be one, which means it must be an item. Hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron. The hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron. A blade said to have been born of a corpse. Gross. This blood drenched fetish. Stop it. You keep using that word and I don't think you know what it means. It's the implication. 
uh, is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City and symbolizes its downfall. Don't know why they considered it a treasure then. Uh, cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. I guess this is what Rani was after. She wants to harm the greater will, which, uh, again, seems a bit of a... How do you stab an abstract concept or a religious deity? Whichever one of those it is. I guess you could stab its vassals. Um, did, and did the, what did they say of Rani? That she did or didn't have a fate? I think she, her fate was what she was trying to get back. So maybe that's why she had to send me after it. Hmm. As expected, more questions, fewer answers. Where's this guy? Oh, well that was simple for once. Cheers. Yes, I suppose there is no easy way to make a path back there, is there? Well, that, I'm pretty sure, is everything in the underground. Who fucking Ray? We can finally go back above ground into the bright daylight. Well, I say that, when then we're going to go into some caves. So, you know, enjoy it while it lasts, I guess. But first, let's go give this to Rani. Although first, first, let's talk to E.G. Because it's been a minute and I miss him. And his dulcet tones. Not sure where Blythe went off to then. He was meant to, uh, because of the wonky order we did all that in, we might have missed him or fucked up a trigger of something. Hello. Uh, just here for a chat. Oh, Blythe wanted me to tell you. Oh? Not to bother waiting for him. And head straight to Nokron. Oh, well, I Blythe did. Blythe has been given an important task. Apparently, a matter of great urgency. Oh. What was that task? You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone, where the fallen star struck Limgrave. Been there, done that. Make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron. So that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean. Okay, new word we're hearing there. Empyrean. What, 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 what's that? Is that, is that good? Is it bad? It's a, if it's a dark path, it doesn't sound great. But then these games can be a bit wishy-washy with that. All right. Um, and I'm pretty sure all this fucking booby trap shit is still going on here. Well, even if it's not, there's no way I'm going through the fucking fingers again. So skip right to it. Curious as to where Blythe has gone then. Because I think the last we saw of him was the message... Uh, right before going down into the underground um, and he said go on ahead I'll meet you there or, or something like that but now I don't know now just not so I just wanted to check that I actually uh, pretty sure I triggered the sight of grace uh, down here I just didn't sit at it right ah Apparently, 
No, wait, that's probably it, isn't it? Yeah, no, I did sit at it. Okay, good, right, yeah, that's fine. Just didn't want to miss getting a new uh, fast travel point. Not that we'll probably have any reason to go back down there, but you know. All the uh, means make it easier. God, it's been a while since we've been back here. We've still got half a dragon to kill at some point. Amongst many, many other dragons. So, are you still asleep, or will this wake you up? Like. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber, I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Oh, you just sent him to do the same thing I did then. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. Can you tell me more about the dark path? Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. No, I guess not. Uh, cool. What is it? What is it? What does it do? My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. Depends I what it does. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our first encounter. I must thank Torrent too for his part. Oh yeah, he's great. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Oh, I bet you tell all the boys that. What is it? You may go. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. I can't remember if I noticed that before, but you have four arms. That handy, I guess. Okay, um... Well, that was somewhat uneventful. What was this fucking weird ornament she's given me then? Probably gonna do something weird. Key revealing the hidden form of Carrion Study Hall. Yeah, that's weird. Statuette of a scholar with ground and sky inverted reveals the hidden form of the Carrion Study Hall, which connects to the Divine Tower. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the Celestial Globe. Huh? Huh? Where even is the Divine Tower around here? Which one's that? We haven't even checked that one. I did, uh, or the one here, if there is one here. Oh, fuck me. They're usually quite visible. They're, there's that one. The There's the Kaled one. Is it... Is it there? That seems like it could be. And where? Oh yeah, and that's where the Einstein River lift came out. So it, and we were surprised that we hadn't found that. So it does seem like an area we haven't explored. Fuck it. Let's go look at that then. I suppose. Uh, but first, I want to. Rub my victory in Saluvius's face. Also, just check there's nothing more to do with him, really. Also, what's that? What's down here? Oh, just same, same shortcut, different place, uh, same place, different shortcut, whatever. Let sleeping wolves lie. So 
So is that another thing we uh, just breezed past then? We've done everything in the Leonia, it's a sort of rare Lucaria Academy area. Uh, but we never went to the Divine Tower. I suppose we did only suss them out sort of after Stormvale really, so I guess so. Ah, but that occurs to me. Have, have I, I've already used Thingy's Remembrance, or is it? No, it, it's the runes, isn't it? You, S something about that, anyway. Maybe it'll still work, it'll be fine. Shut up. <laughs> right, dickhead. Begging for another lesson so soon. Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it. Uh, nope, I've got everything from you. What's that? Quite the keen power. But I'm afraid each and every one is like a child to me. I can hardly just give them away. Oh dear. What's to be done? Why don't you fetch me some starlight shards? If you can manage it, I'll gladly prepare a new puppet for you. The soul of every puppet has its own ambience. You'll soon come to know, once you possess a few. And once each's predilections are known to you, the better you will be able to love them. Oh yes, you have much to look forward to further down this road. Yeah, no, just wanted to see what that is. Don't actually want a puppet, you're creepy. You're creepy as fuck. I don't want I don't want anything to do with your love puppets. Right. Moving swiftly on. Uh Yeah, let's go here then, I guess. To the site of grace I don't recall ever being at, so curious. Well, the weather is sure helping. That, that makes it easier to see, doesn't it? So we're near we're near the Church of Vows and Turtle Pope ish. There's a outpost there. Let's stick a thing in it so we know where we're going. That would have been way closer, actually, wouldn't it? What? Well, don't know what I was thinking. And we need to go down, more or less. Spooky fire, people. Don't mind me, chaps. This looks like a something on the horizon. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Ah, you fuck. How dare you. None of this looks uh, familiar to me, so... Ah, fucked it. No! Ah, oh, come on! Okay, that was somewhat worth it. Jesus. It 
Is it all just shrubbery here or are you hiding something? Innocent bushes. Alright, fine. So I guess this is the defined. Oh, yeah, and there's a globe. Okay, great. Oh, fantastic. Well, that was actually. Here, I thought we were going to be perplexed by that for ages. Hello. O celestial globe, transmit to posterity the wisdom of the moon and stars, and obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. What, what princess and what, what's she been doing? Hmm. Okay, and something about this is going to flip everything upside down, or literally or metaphorically. Doesn't seem like I need to do anything because I can just go up. Uh, oh shit. Now I feel like I've skipped ahead. Oh bloody hell, this is a whole thing. We're in it now. Because we've had such a good time with these divine towers, the Kalid one was a riot of laughs. Hello, oh, okay, yeah, it's that kind of thing, is it? Turns out you can burn ghosts. It's unclear how much there is to this area. There's people appearing somewhere and they're angry that I smashed their stuff, I guess. Ah, you're all here. Okay. Hang on. Preceptor Miriam? I thought that was Saluvius for a second. I wouldn't put it past him, but clearly she is of the big hat order oh now that's cheap oh fuck me I f really feel like I should have hit that button or something down at the start Maybe I'll find a site of grace and I can go back there. That's a hell of a risk to take, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. But we're doing it anyway. Own your mistakes, or sort of double down on them, I suppose, in this case. Well, you guys aren't too threatening. It's you, that's the problem. Gone again. Oh, and it keeps going. That ain't. I've got one of those, I think. No, I haven't. Just something very similar. Uh, also not something worth having at this point, but okay, fine. More wands. 
So did you reappear somewhere down there just to be twatty or did you go further up? Guess we'll find out. By stealth. I feel like the time for stealth has passed. Hmm. Now is the time for reckless abandon. That you fuck. I'm killing them by clipping their ankles rather. But if it works, it works. Being a real irritant about this, aren't you? That was the worst timing possible. That's like the most telegraphed attack in the game. That was also terrible timing. Clearly I'm on top of my game today. Yep. Oh, you fucks. You're not really a threat, but if I leave too many of you, then you could gang up on me from behind. and It's just a problem not worth having, really. So I feel like we must have done one full rotation at this point. If, if that person was saying, try stealth... They may have had a point. But she can't keep summoning the... Uh, the other people, clearly. So... I'll fucking catch you one of these days. Maybe. So how am I going to stealth them from this point? up on the rafters fuck it maybe she's very she's very much yes seen where I am now I don't know if going up here is really gonna give me much of a advantage oh, so why is there always rats in the rafters? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Right. And with all the stealth of a battle axe, you're dead. Hip hip hooray. Magic downpour. Uh, if that's what you were using, it didn't seem all that swish. The arrow was working far better for you. Summon a magic mass that sprays projectiles over an area. Pardon me. Uh, this sorcery can be cast while in motion. Yeah, yeah. Said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the old Concord. I mean, if you're still swearing about Concord, then I think you need to move on with your life. It was, it was fucking years ago, that plane. I went on it, technically. There's people of a certain age that will have no fucking idea what I'm talking about now. Ah. <sighs> Depressing. Concord was a plane that they made and I was super young at the time uh, and it was meant to be able to break the sound barrier and that was noteworthy. Um, and yeah, and I think my parents paid probably too much money for us to all go on a trip on it and it didn't break the sound barrier. So, because it was just... Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 
and I guess that was the risk you took. To be honest, even if it had, I think I was too young to really appreciate it. It just would have been, what, has it done it? Okay. I don't think anyone on board, like, I don't think you really noticed the difference either. Maybe your ears pop or something, but that happens often on planes anyway. It was a weird time. I wonder actually if they got any. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I wonder if they got any money back for it to uh, not doing what it was supposed to. We got a little model of it. You probably get that anyway. Who'd have thought I'd be talking about fucking Concord on stream? Can't pretend I don't fill a unique niche in the market. <sighs> right, this better be worth it. Okay, fair play, that that might well be worth it. Something magic y I'm guessing. What'd it do? Boost FP restoration from Flask of Cerulean Tears. Ah. A cerulean coloured talisman patterned after an Erd Tree seed. Uh, the Erd Tree was once perfect and eternal, weren't we all? And thus it was, was it believed that earth tree seeds could not exist, you fucking rat? I was reading. Fuck you. Anyway, that was a little disappointing because I was, I was kind of hoping it would be the equivalent of the, uh, of the gradual restoration one that I have for health. Because that would be mighty handy. I am all for gradually restorative items like that. But uh, nope. And that's all the rafters had to offer by the looks of it. So yeah. That one's already dead, you muppet. How was I to know that? By looking. You can't expect me to do so many things at once. Uh, okay, so some people have jumped down on there, but I can't imagine for what reason. Nothing much to be gained by that. Dip, dip, dip. Mm. That's everything. Okay, sure. So, from here. Oh, yeah, I guess you weren't entirely dead. But you are now. Now, this is where I came from. Is this as high as everything goes? I did see a further platform above the rafters, so suggests there is more. No. Okay, maybe now is when I have to go back and uh, twiddle with the fiddle, so to speak. That sounds like a revolting euphemism. I have to push a button, is all I meant.
there's no really way real way to make that journey back interesting you know so I just didn't bother these elevators uh, lifts I mean you know fuck they could uh, serve to be a bit slower as well they both lead to the same place right Examine pedestal, put the funny thing on it, see what happens. Ooh, cutscene and everything. There you go. I feel like it's not going to stay on there if the whole thing is going to flip upside down. Thanks. I think. Something died from that process. Ah. I can see how some problems may have arisen. Th hmm. Yeah, the hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How the fuck do we go about this? I hope this isn't going to require brain power. Or lateral thinking of any kind. Whoa! No, no, no. We're not dealing with you fucks again. Uh, do not stop it. Oh, you're fucking shitting me, aren't you? Where were you the whole time? Please walk off the edge. You seem like you want to, and I don't want to stop you. Um, no? Well, I'm just going to twang you from here then. Wait, Miriam again? I killed you. Hopefully you can only die twice, Mr. Bond. I can get rid of those while we're at it. Right, see, the smaller ones I can somewhat deal with. It's if there's any of the big hands, I'm going to freak out. Okay. This is fucking precarious, to say the least. Mask of confidence. I should probably put that on, considering how I'm feeling. It's not actually going to give me confidence, is it? Mask with the mouth sewn shut with gold thread increases arcane. When Radagon married Renala, he ordered the carrion magic preceptors to don these masks to make it clear that all of their matters were to be kept strictly private. And that's what uh, Saluvius wears. Although his matters are no longer private because we sort of found his creepy basement, so I guess the mask didn't work. And sadly, I guess uh, Radigan meant a different kind of confidence. So.
Are you actually dead this time? Apparently not. No, you are. Lucidity. I could do some more of that as well. Oh, hang on. Something's not going right here. I, I might just leave you to it, mate. You don't... Although, if you're going to be able to keep doing that, it's going to get annoying, isn't it? Chill out. Okay, I'm... Ah, fuck. Clearly, uh, the collision could be better on a lot of these things. I, I'm not down with uh, creepy hands hiding in the floor. That needs to stop right now. As does that. Fuck off, good sir. Off the edge, if you please. No? Okay. How about you? <sighs> These games are too janky for shit like this. My nerves are too janky as well. Stop with the hands. I'm not a fan of the hands. Yep, there's someone looking as confused as I am. Alright, if you say so. It occurs to me, I wonder how much more difficult this might have been if we hadn't cleared out the area before rotating it. Like how much of those, how many of those enemies respawn or does rotating it force a different kind of respawn? In a certain way, rotating it might just suddenly give you a shit ton of runes as all the rats fall from the rafter and all the I suppose a lot of the things, a lot of the enemies only appear when they sort of materialise. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Speaking of rafters, more of this shit. Great. <laughs> And I thought climbing the outside of the carrion one would be the most difficult. It was pretty difficult, but this too is shit. That's a really annoying thing to put somewhere. Yeah, that gives a different vibe now, doesn't it? How, wait, how does that work? <laughs> he should have fallen off, clearly. Now it looks like he's clinging to the edge. If I wanted to be um, an astute memer, I would uh, put don't give up skeleton there. But uh, he's not technically a skeleton, so it shouldn't, shouldn't really be applicable. I think that's all the items pillaged. Let's jump down here. Also, yeah, I'm. do I need to check the description for that? I guess I might as well. Holy proof, dried liver. 
Yep, boosts holy damage negation. Okay, sure. I'm trying to think which of these is the most goofy. It might be holy proof. Lightning proof is a bit dumb as well, but because I'm pretty sure people's livers aren't aren't resistant to all these things. How the fuck does this thing work when it's the other way up? Oh, probably doesn't bear thinking about. Oh, apparently I need that. It's way too, way too dark. Uh, nope. Well, see, I thought there's going to be no items here because they wouldn't stick to the ceiling, but they might. There's no fucking telling what might do anything here. Yes, very apt message there, yeah. Okay, how the fuck does this work then? Okay, it's still I can still open it, okay. I suppose you can push a door from any point in it really. So I'm just looking at my gloves more. Uh, they're more mittens, aren't they, really? That sort of takes away some of the intimidation factor. Well, quite glad to be outside all of that, really, and... Smartly, they close the door behind because now everything needs to be the right way up, or else uh, the game would end very promptly. So yeah, as I was saying, we sort of did all this stuff out of order, but then at the same time, did we? Because we couldn't have got this far until completing uh, Rani's quest, so. Cool. At least there's no massive stone arches on this one. Actually, I take that back because it's the fucking sorcery one, isn't it? So they might just materialise. Let's find out. Can't imagine I get across this entire thing without something trying to twat me. Ah, there we are. What the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? You're new, and weird, and fat, and flabby. Don't quite know what to make of you. Okay, you're, you're reminding me of the uh, PvP person we had to fight. Actually, I don't know how fat you are. You might just... You've got weird, flumpy clothes, haven't you? Unsurprisingly, that didn't do all that much. But then getting closer to him doesn't seem like a good option either, but maybe melee damage will do more. No! No, no, no! Way less. I'm gonna hang back here then. Shit, I could have done. I could have. I should have. I would have rested at that site of grace. Why I didn't now seems incredibly stupid. So go ahead and do that, I guess. Eh, he's got a tail as well. What the fuck are you? Weird fat lizard wizard. Had to happen at some point, I suppose. How does one deal with a flabby lizard wizard? I don't know. Gas the fucker. Seems to be the best bet for a lot of things. Maybe not the axe anymore either. Uh,
thinking about it, when can I use the wet blades? Is it at any, do I have to be at a smithing thing or? I wouldn't have thought so. I'm just wondering if I put a colt or something on this. Now I've got poison off the bat, but that scales with arcane. What does blood scale with? Also arcane. And a cult scales with arcane too. Great. Um, see, a cult would be good against holy stuff. That's generally how it goes. I can't think what would be good against magic, especially. Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll try something out. Ice, maybe? I'm trying to upgrade some different things, but I haven't really got them up to snuff yet. See, that could potentially be useful, but it's a uh, it's not there yet. It's, and as a dagger, it's not going to do a huge amount of damage, and it's going to require getting up in his face, which I don't really want to do. Ice lightning could be good, but again, I don't think it's upgraded enough. That does magic damage, so I can't imagine that's the right way to go. Maybe try that, something heavy. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. The thing he's using is, uh, well, it's that black fire type stuff again, which perhaps is what a cult looks like. Right, so I, the magic defense might not be the way to go then. Hmm. 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 We'll fucking give it a go. Hello. Ow. I guess I could just avoid him, but I mean, kind of want to see if I can be. And that's really just. Poor timing. Okay. And how do you feel about ice also? Yeesh, that was a bit close. Yeah, ice didn't seem too bothered with. Whoa, what the fuck are you doing now? Whoa, 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 whoa! Jesus Christ! Rolly fat flabby pinwheel motherfucker. Not a fan of that. How is that a cult? The power of flab rolling is an occult magic, it seems. Remember that, kids. You are unholy if you're obese. I don't got the Stam Stam for this. Also, who the fuck calls it Stam Stam? Apparently me, when under duress. No, don't do that again. Oh it's, a, oh, it's a fucking different one this time. He's got multiple Snorlax abilities. Not that Snorlax ever did that. You creepy fuck. Well, that was a waste. Oh, and now you've disappeared because you 
out of boundaries or something. Huh. This is a weird one. Okay, I'm going to go for a brief intermission and try and regain some focus. Don't quite know how I'm going to do that. Uh, don't know. Shot a smack or something. Because I have that lying around, apparently. Anywho, uh, back in a moment. Right, let's try this again. Clearly the massive thwacker is, uh, is too slow. If he's a culty, then maybe magic will do something against him. Um, but instead of hitting him, maybe we should actually just focus on the magic. I mean, gassing him almost did the job, so... Yeah. Something like that. One of these things has to work. Well, it doesn't have to, but... It should do. Right, Flabby, here we go. Nope, nope, just realised no shield on horse. Bad idea. going great. I'll leave it out. I was doing a thing. F 
fuck's sake. The power of occult fat, everyone. Maybe I should just fucking gallop past him. Bollocks to him. And again, he can run surprisingly fast for his size. Okay, let's try actually hitting him with the magic katana then. No, nope, didn't mean to do that. Ugh, I can't do that on horseback, that's annoying. Well, I'd have to get off anyway, so... Said no woman ever. How come yours have that kind of incredible range and mine don't? Seems unfair. Nothing, but it's not great either. Yep, might just have to slog this one out. If we can. Oh shit, not this again. No. No. God damn it. Stop being so violently fat. timing worst timing possible I'm going around here you fuck off his main weakness seems to be spatial awareness but I can't seem to leverage that against him too often keep trying the gas honestly yes stay in your protective shield and not notice the non-protection happening to you godskin noblehood right okay that's why he was so difficult he's of the same clan as uh, the apostle who roundly kicked our shit in robe made by sewing together patches of smooth skin oh great subcutaneous fat makes it plump and soft uh, worn by godskin nobles uh, known for their seven face aprons I mean that just sounds dumb uh, strengthens the noble presence incantation. Oh good, we, we make so much use of that. Nobles are the most ancient apostles who are said to have assimilated in human physiology, not unlike the crucible, the Erda tree in its primordial form. Also generally dickheads. <laughs> 
Wow, that. So if you want to play a weird sumo build, this is how. Oh, so fat. Oh, fat belly. Yeah, I'm. I'm really not a fan of the faces in the apron thing. Gross. Super, super gross. Not a fan. Glad he's dead. And I hope he burns in hell. Which, being an occult sort of figure, maybe he will. Depending on who's right about that whole afterlife thing. And we're not even in the tower yet. It's promising, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I sort of was under the impression that there wouldn't be one for this area, but it makes sense that there should be. Right now, there's not necessarily anything more here. I think once you reach this lift part, you're kind of done. I believe so, anyway. And we're going to find some manky fingers up here, and, and they'll give us something. That was it. So Godric's rune uh, increases all our attributes. Radan's one increases all our sort of meters, so to speak. Well, health and stamina. I don't think it increases your magic. Uh, this one might just increase your magic. I hope it does something a little better than that, but Chances are it will be something magic based. Why is it always overcast? You're really speaking to my British sensibilities there. Oh. No, no fingers. Rat ahead. A corpse. Well, this is different. Who are you and why? Somebody with fancy bangles. And an amulet of some kind, which didn't seem to keep them safe. Curse mark of death. That's not what I wanted to pick up. Stargazer heirloom. St uh, right. Am I misremembering? I thought this was where you got something funky for your runes. Or is that the old crone? Who sort of unlocks that power. Yeah, no, I'm being fucking stupid again. Yeah, all, all this one is used for is the rebirth thing. And then I guess coming to the top of the Divine Towers just give you items. Okay, right, ignore me most of the time. Curse mark carved into the discarded flesh of Rani the Witch, also known as the half wheel wound of the centipede. Oh, of course, because we all we all know that you can't go five minutes without hearing about the half wheel wound of the centipede. It's all anyone's talking about these days. This curse mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. I was going to say, because uh, God win, 
Godwin was the one who is generally considered the first to die, but Rani was the first of the, of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. The Prince of Death, but we... The Prince of Death was the horrific thing we found in the depths of the thing, so that is Godwin. But then what's the thing at the bottom of Stormvale? How are there two creepy treat th like horrible str things? Only one of them is called the Prince of Death though, so perished in soul alone. I mean, his something happened to his body. I, mean, I th don't think we can deny that. Might not have perished, but arguably worse things happened. So this is Rani's body. Only got the two arms though. That didn't seem to add up. Did she only get them in her second life or something? I don't. Hmm. Hmm. More fucking questions. <laughs> and what was the other thing I got? It was a talisman. Raises his intelligence, of course it does. Uh, could have done with finding that way, way earlier. Engraved with the legend of a queen, the young astrologer gazed at the night sky as she walked. She had always chased the stars every step of her journey. Then she met the full moon, and in time the astrologer became a queen. So that's talking about Renala, I guess. Well, there's not much we don't have the intelligence for anymore. Only uh, one spell and one scepter from Renala's Remembrance. Which even that talisman won't give us enough for at the moment, because it's 60 and 70. But, uh, yeah, okay. Rat ahead. Why? Somebody could just be... That could mean nothing or everything, you know? <laughs> I really... Hmm. Well, that's perplexing. Somebody shooting off the ledge there. Um, yeah, okay. That's more, more lore implications to that than some manky fingers. Don't know what to think of that. But that's that done then, I guess. Yeah, I think that's everything. Um, so that's the study hall. A bit far from the fucking academy, isn't it? You think? I don't know. Maybe they want to go on a field trip sometimes. Um, oh, okay. Well, yeah. All right. what we were going to do now. There's some caves and shit, wasn't it? I'm curious as to what can happen about uh, Twatty McGee's castle now. If that's even accessible. Or or did we permanently fuck up and, and we can't reach that now? Let's give it another look. I feel like we pretty thoroughly checked it before, but uh, I don't know. Basically, I'm, I'll be annoyed if I can't complete the quest, and also I'm a bit tired of having that fucking marker there the whole time. So uh, if there really is no way to reach it, then we'll, I guess we'll consider that quest forfeit until, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll look it up, actually, and, and see... Uh, if I have indeed botched that. I wonder what the fuck that was for a second there. It's one of those again. Right. No, 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 no. Calm down. Fucking flower power.
So yeah, all the bridge and everything seems still pretty fucked, but uh... In theory, going the beach way might still get me there. In fact, looking at it now, it seems quite obvious. Why didn't I see this before? Was I just too enthralled with the idea of Nocron and everything? Uh, more likely than that, I was just too out of it and not perceptive enough. Fuck that a bit. Ah, good recovery, me. Thank you, me. Entirely what I meant to do. <laughs> right. I feel like this is probably a much earlier sort of quest that we are doing much later, but... Uh, nonetheless, Keith's castle we're finding... Am I still calling him Keith? He's not Keith, is it? He's Kenneth. I made that mistake last time. In fact, I made that mistake on one of the earlier streams and then I pointed it out and then I went back to calling him Keith because I realised when I watched it back I guess I just want to meet someone called Keith I think that's what it is I, clearly there's just some part of me deep down that has a longing to have a friend called Keith I don't know why and he probably wouldn't stay my friend very long because I just keep chuckling at his name just something inherently funny about Keith to me. Especially when you put it in a setting like this where you're expecting something grandiose and it's like Ah, oh, the Grand Elden Lord, Keith. It's like fighting a demon king called Dave. Well, well, well. Okay, let's sit here just so we're sort of, I don't know, refreshed. I mean, we were anyway, but. In fact, that's really handy. I wish I found that first. Fort Height West. Which implies there will be another one in the east. Or north or south. I feel like this is probably going to be easier than... Uh, the castle siege in uh, Kaelid, so. Then again, complacency has fucked us over before. Okay, someone spotted us. Crossbows. No, that they might be shooting those guys. I guess so. They haven't seen us yet, then. Or, or are these... Or is the castle full of you guys? Are you the... People for in the castle or not? <laughs> no, they can't be because then the ballista wouldn't be shooting at them. Okay, I'm sieging it along with the cave people. Hello. Oh wow, yeah, this could be a bit of a cakewalk. <laughs> Whoa, okay, yeah. Again, don't get complacent, because I'm sure they can still fuck you up, but uh, in terms of damage, I think I might be alright here. Yeah, I can kill the pumpkin head in two. So. Good god damn. And other such phrases. Well, this might be a time to get away with trying a slightly weaker weapon for a laugh. Let's try the old Scarlet Rock Dagger. This might be the only time we can feasibly do that. That's another one of those. That's handy. How many of that? Uh, those are now. I think I'm at three. And I need either four or five at this point. I'm at four. Sweet. Oh, incidentally. Um, oh, I can't remember now if I already said this last stream. Anyway, I killed the big worm thing in the waterfall of the Scarlet Rock Cloister. Um, it was tedious and it took a long time and I got a golden seed for it. So that's that. People dying on their own back there. What the fuck was this? What the fuck? Is 
that one of the bear sloth bear things, but like really emaciated or something? Oh, good rats. Well, we can consider the marker finally gone. This is the here uh, going to be a very one-sided siege, I feel. Hello. Bit of an ambush, but... If this kills everything in one, then I'm, it's not really going to have a chance to have the Scarlet Rot effect, is it? Okay, that was six. Do we have time to read that? Blood Grease, Blood Arrows, Blood Bolt, Blood Born. Alright, yeah, we, we sh this is, we are way too over leveled for this. Makes for a nice victory lap though. Maybe I can get some self esteem back after dying to Fatty so many times. Okay, surely you're not going to go in one hit. Oh, and you've got a bloody weapon. Good for you. Seems a bit occult of you. Also, the Scarlet Rot hasn't taken, which is kind of annoying. I wonder how many hits. I thought 50 was quite high for the amount this does, but apparently not. Bloody Slash. You definitely want to see a doctor about that. Okay, so the Blood Boys have taken over this. For whatever reason. They're Godric's soldiers, but they're doing arcane blood magic. Perhaps Kenneth is uh, not how, what he seems. I suppose the question is, is he affiliated with the blood magic-y types? Oh. That's that, then. Wait, that can't be that, because... Latena, all the way back in fucking God knows what, said uh, the other half of that was at a lift or something, didn't she? Yeah, Grand Lift of Rold, which we haven't come to. Oh, there's several. Grand Lift of Dectus. Where are these Grand Lifts? I've never seen them. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Atlas Plateau to Leonia. The right half is said to reside in Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow, far to the e Great. <laughs> now we have to go back there. Um, go to bed, go to bed. Hala tree. Okay, this one doesn't say where the other one would be, but then. Fuck, I can't remember what Latina said about where the other one would be. Okay, uh, cool. Also, that's a cool view. Drink it in. Golden clouds. And a massive fuck off hole in the ground. Mm. Well, I feel like that can't be everything here. But I could be wrong. Coming to this earlier in the game, the, the guy with the blood greatsword and everything, that could be quite a challenge. 
unfortunate for him that we got here now. Actually, it's not a big castle, is it? I think that probably is everything. Oh no. Worthwhile. <laughs> it's that, however you get there, I don't... Hmm. Is there going to be anything there, though? I don't know. I'll explore that some of the time. Could have landed on that badly. Oh, alright. Well, that's that, then. One of the few places you can s seemingly see Caled from. I don't know how the whole sky changing colour works there, really. Because it's not a red sky from what you can see from here, and yet when you're there, it very much is. Strange places. Well, we didn't really get to show off the dagger that much, but, uh, oh well. We don't use these very often, and that, but, but I have been steadily upgrading them. Because I like the whole dual-wieldy thing sometimes, as uh, reckless as it is. Okay, cool. Uh, back to Kenneth then, I guess. Wherever the fuck he was. I guess that's nearest. I'm sure he will be very thankful. Because he was not at all suspicious before. Damn it, we actually need a fucking marker on him. Because these areas can get confusing. I see, you were being harassed by the bandits that were nowhere near you. You've been waiting a long time then. Yep. Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. You fucking shitting me. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Earth Tree, co-mingling with the Demi humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? I nope. see bright things in your future, stout warrior. I don't want anything to do with enter your service. My service and learn the workings of the Earth Tree's true order. Oh, uh, really? Who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold turn to those tarnished eyes of yours. You can't see my eyes. You don't know shit. A fine accord, is it not? 
Uh, what happens if I keep pledging service to different people? Are they of different alignments? Is Rani going to be annoyed if I do this? I suppose I've technically completed being in her service, so it's fine, right? I don't want to be in his service, but I might get something out of it. Very well, very well indeed. Yeah. I knew I saw something in you. Stop looking at me. I shall await you at my fort. I feel dirty. Shall we hold a ceremony for your knighting there? I think. Oh, please don't. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the earth tree blessed. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Fucking hell, a knighting ceremony. Are we really going to be doing that shit? I suppose we are. Um, so if we head back there, will he be there immediately? I d oh. <laughs> if you think I'm being a bit down on this, then just remember what happened when we went to a festival recently. Somehow... I'm not going to trust that a knighting ceremony is going to be all that swish. Fuck, I already can't remember where the fuck he was. Right, okay, yeah, he was there, so he has moved. Uh, not visibly to here, but let's assume he's there. Oh, well, I should check beforehand. That's new, that must have come about in a patch, I imagine. There wasn't an indicator there before that you could do something. Oh, well, that's helpful, I suppose. Hmm. Cool. Makes things easier, I suppose. Cheers, then. Right, let's see what kind of party this prick is going to hold for us. Kind of expected the ballista to fire at us again, to be honest. What do you mean? If I'm not coming in, if my horse isn't allowed. Um, it appears you haven't very well established reconnection with them. I thought you said you were going to talk to these guys. Am I going to find him dead somewhere up here? No? How the fuck did you get past them then? Ah, you, is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage. Would take the reins of Limgrave. Why does your voice sound different? Why do you sound more evil? I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. And what the fuck am I doing here? Great Kenneth Height 
issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. You said that was you. I must begin for a true. Well, I fucking wasted my time, prick. I could have been spelunking in caves right now. What a twat. Not that I wanted to be knighted. I mean, I thought the whole thing was a waste of time. But, I mean, if I'd gone all the way there, then I might as well, you know. Anyway, what is a knighthood? Just means everyone's going to have to call me Sir Flinter Twi Twinst. And if I can't say it, then they're probably going to struggle. Anyway... I'm very familiar with this spot now, as I've mentioned, this has become my regular farming spot, but I've still not actually gone ahead and fought the boss, so now's as good a time as any. Let's see what's actually at the end of this. In case you've forgotten, this was the rock hard bullshit cave, so uh... I don't think we're going to, you know, do well against this boss or anything. Don't mind me, chaps. That doesn't sound good. Oh great, it's one of you. My fucking favourite. We literally just fought one of you and I had to do it off stream because it was so tedious and difficult. I mean, it says it's putrid, it doesn't necessarily say it's scarlet rotted, so... But then again, there was a bunch of scarlet right outside, so who knows. Fucking yes, and it will do inflict scarlet rot on me. Okay, great. It's a good job I did the other one off stream then, because I guess I'm doing this one on stream. Son of a bitch. I guess at least I haven't got the mantis people and I'm not having to stand in scarlet rot, though that's as close to an advantage as I'm gonna get here. Um, I didn't actually check if I could summon anyone in that. I really hope I can. I didn't beat the one off stream without Oleg, in case you were wondering. In fact, he probably did most of the damage. I was mainly throwing the mist at him and running away. But you can't run too far because then it despawns. Well, sort of reloads back to the start of the waterfall. Okay... Here we go again. God for fuck's sake. I wasn't even part of that, I just got caught in the crossfire. At least no one's following me down here. Try fire. Try close quarters. Try fire. Fire, we don't have a great deal in the way of fire. We don't have any particular weapons for it beyond the fucking torch, so. I guess I could put this on. That would uh, hopefully raise the immunity slightly. Um, damn it, and the pots I made are scarlet rot ones, typically. So that's no good now. We could grease up the axe. Might be our best bet. Should 
Sure, let's go for that, I suppose. How are we doing on rune arcs? Let's maybe try one of those two. Ah, fuck it, let's pop this immediately. Oh wow, that is quick. It's the first time I used one of those. And we can in fact summon Oleg, so let's do that. Oh good, and he starts underground again, so it's, uh, you know, we've got a few seconds there for stuff. Has the fire already gone off the axe? Is that the thing of using it that quickly? I think it might be. he doesn't eat me again we might do all right at this oh no that ain't good either that's not super swell I feel like that was a, a potentially uh, E.T. grab. Fucker. Switching between that and the grease is annoying. Healing in grease. Oh, I staggered him. Quick. Get, get, yes! I keep missing those. Oh, that wasn't really all that much for a critical hit, was it? Oh god, that could have been bad. Fuck off! Fucking die! Thank you! Ooh. Okay, second time. That's not bad. Oh, and we got a golden seed. And Olga. What are you about, Olga? In fact, if you're an archer, that's going to really annoy me because I just upgraded Latena a bunch. <sighs> Spirit of a mighty knight versed in the use of a great bow, a valiant warrior who will attack immediately after being summoned. The longest serving member of the Red Main Knights. Oh no, it's not Olga, it's Olga. Study techniques to manipulate gravity alongside Radan. May use a rain of gravitational arrows in response to a war cry, but only once. Hmm. That's a weird extra facet to it. And unlike Latena, they retain the use of their legs. Well, I, I, fuck, I guess I'm, I'll try them out, but I mean, depends how many more of the uh, glove walk, gl ghost walk things I come across as to whether I can upgrade them too. It's bad that I've got used to this site. I really shouldn't be used to this site. I don't want to be acclimatized to that. But hey, I, either we've improved a great deal, which seems unlikely, or the boss of this was not as difficult as the lead up to it. Strange. But cool. That's another one we can tick off the list.
just wondering that we're not a million miles away from a level up, but uh, still too far for these runes to get us, I think. Right, what else do we have to do? There's a few more caves. There's some ever jails we haven't done. There's, um... Then, of course, there's... You know, obviously I'm aware of this entire part of the map. But uh, <laughs> I will get to that. I just, um... I like to clear up things here first. Malefactor's ever jail. That was one that we haven't done. Let's give that a go. I don't know what a malefactor is. Anything with mal at the front is, is usually bad. Malcontent, you know. Uh, Malcolm. Anyone called Malcolm. Um, malware. Malbatros. So we'll do that and and that'll be and that'll be good. Don't know how much more time we have. I mean technically we've got all the time in the world, but I don't want these to run on forever. Yeah, we'll do this and then we'll wrap up. Provided I can find it. Is it up there? If it is, I don't think I can get up there easily. This seems not right. <laughs> Let's assume it was not that. That's an easier way about it. Don't need that on anymore. Um, that might help. Give that a go. Guard counters of the sort of one technical flourish we can sometimes do. And now I don't know what this will be, so I don't know what weapon is best. But uh, let's try. Let's try these I feel like this is going to get me killed but we'll give it a go because these definitely vary in difficulty as well thought that was it then try ranged battle oh I was about to not I was about to do something very other than that ah skill shit okay can kind of scum this a bit. Aiden Thief of Fire. Oh, you're another fatty, aren't you? Why are there so many fatties today? You're out of juice, fucker. Oh, come on. No, that's really annoying. I only died there because I did something fancy. What's your fault for doing something fancy? Well, excuse me for trying to end with a flourish once in a while. Trying to make something of myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's really annoying. No, annoying isn't the word. Embarrassing is the word. Uh, it's fine though it's fine at least it spat our runes out here
I mean, the strategy did seem to work quite well. No, I did it again, didn't I? Don't. But that's a cool move that I do want to end with. But yeah, no, it's going to get me killed, and it? it's going to get me killed. Okay, do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, let's see, that one's annoying because it lingers. There we go. Uh, well, if you're going to be a spelly dick, then so am I. I said spelly there. What? You're not supposed to be able to jump, you're too fat. Just fuck off already. Thank you. Should not have been that difficult. I don't have any mocking gestures to hand. Flame of the Fell God. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. No, don't get your hopes up. It won't be a spell, will it? No, because nothing elemental, nothing cool, nothing good is ever a spell. <laughs> it's called fucking Flame of the Fell God. <sighs> That's so metal, and yet I won't be able to use it. Yep course. Summons raging fireball that explodes and sets the area ablaze. This legendary incantation is one of several that draws directly from the power of the fire giants. What, was this just written by Metallica? Releases a ball of raging fire said to be inhabited by a fell god. The fireball floats towards enemies and explodes, setting the area ablaze. Are you okay? Arganthi? The chief guardian of the flame had kept this incantation a well-kept secret until it was stolen by Adan. The fell god still lurks within the fire giants. That all sounds metal as, as fuck. But it don't do shit for us, unfortunately. Now, I said we'd finish there, but I think there is one more ever jail that we haven't done. So I am going to give that a go, I think. Yeah, why not? Just because that one didn't... I don't know, I don't like how that one went, and we didn't get much from it, really. We didn't get anything from it, though. I mean, that incantation is completely useless to us. Neat flavour text, but uh, bugger all utility. Flowery, but no good to anyone. Poetic, but pointless. Now, to get to that. Might have to run past these dickheads. I don't know why you guys are still here, I'll be honest with you. Godric's well dead by now. There's a guy stamping on his head last I saw.
Right, this one will surely go better. How sure? I'm not sure at all because I have no idea what I'm facing. At least you get that prep time when you go in though. Crucible Knight. Oh great, we love these guys. These guys are super cool and super fun and not at all a ball like. I should have done this first, shouldn't I? Fuck. Fuck! Don't start holding me in place with your weird gravity shit. Or that. Just because you put a fucking horn on your shield. I think you're all lit. Fucking, it's because there's a wind up on it, a delay that I don't expect. Fuck off! Oh no, what was that? What does that mean? Oh god! Okay, you missed. Where were you hiding that? Shit. Shit. Tit. Ribbon. Christmas. Oh. Fucking Norton. Put that away. This is a kid's show. In case YouTube is listening. No, it isn't. <laughs> I guess you have to make that very clear now. No, not because people are idiots, because YouTube are idiots. And yes, I'm fine with them hearing that. <laughs> Can you not do that? No, you can't not do that. Okay, fine. Ah, my hatred for YouTube's policies gave me the strength to, uh, to beat that. Aspects of the Crucible Tale. Again, something we can't use. I don't feel as bad about this one though. Um, it is annoying that both those ever jails gave us nothing. I mean, I guess we got a few runes for it, but uh, runes schmoons, as a uh, as my mum always used to say. So aspects of the crucible. So and they said the crucible was the primordial form of the earth tree before the earth tree. So the earth tree before it was the earth tree was a thing with a tail. Is that what we've learnt? Have we learnt anything? <laughs> One of the ancient Erd tree incantations creates a supple tail that sweeps through foes before the caster chai yeah. This is a manifestation of the Erd tree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible where all life was once blended together in a big soup. A soup with a tail? I don't I Why does it manifest as a tail? What <laughs> The essence of all life has a tail. I, I, why do, I, I'm trying to understand, but I'm just. I think I'm having a fucking migraine, so I think we're going to leave that there. Thanks for watching. And thanks, Neurofen.